What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the website. Today we are with one of, I think the most unique bands I've ever gotten to hang out with and talk to. This is Mr. Goat and your mother. That is the goat and your mom. It stands for the God of all Texas and your masters of menace. Where did you come up with that? Well, How did you uh, come up with that? What were you on? I was thinking I needed a name for the band, and I wanted it to kind of rhyme with God of all Texas. Right. So when I came up with Masters of Menace, I was like, wait a minute, that's not just the goat and the mom, it's the goat and your mom, and well, shit, I had to go with that. Right on. So to get this out of the way, because I know you guys get asked this all the time about the viral video or whatever, that was a friend of yours. That's correct. That walked up and... And now yes, people dive yes, to touch yes. your to touch your dick. Yes, that's very strange, and honestly, I'm not uh, really into guys touching my dick. Right. But uh, I also just don't mind. Right. Oh, okay. I mean, enough. it's it's uh, if anything, uh, a handshake. Right. <laughs> so not flinching, not flinching is very yeah, punk it was rock. A playing of right. Chicken. It's yeah. called. I, I I think there's but a band called Finger Eleven. I think that's what they mean. Finger Eleven. <laughs> now, you guys have become pretty popular after you guys were on Tosh Point Oh. But I mean, he had pretty positive things to say overall. I don't really think it was. No, it was mostly positive, and honestly, I wasn't uh, disappointed with anything he had to say. Because I just take flack well. Right. I mean, you're going your mom. So, you're kind of like Rob Zombie if he said the things he was thinking and dressed the way I think he was. I, I, I don't think he's this vulgar and weird and no? raunchy and wrong. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, I think he's into corpses and stuff, but I'm not really into that myself. Don't get me wrong. I mean, you know, if corpse fucking was legal. <laughs> so, introduce yourselves. Who are you, man? I'm CS Hunter. And you play drums? Yes. Now, you were talking to me a little bit ago about your inspirations and whatnot. Who did you say your biggest drumming inspiration that you kind of channel on a stage? Your mom's my inspiration. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> What's up? Who are you and what do you play? Uh, Jordan Powers. I play guitar. Right on. You guys, were, you were doing fucking amazing. I was actually really surprised. I mean, I listened to a lot of your music besides, you know, Can You Quack or Not. And instrumentally you guys are fucking awesome you know what i mean it's more than just the the laughter and the jokes or whatever you guys are actually genuinely very talented musicians i've continued to try to put good musicians in this band i can't say that there isn't a time or two where i didn't have the best guys in the band but right. hey you know we do what we must i want to have a lineup in the band that is great but at the same time i mean you got to do what you got to do to put shit on the stage and hell i'll play solo if i have to and you what's your name what do you play i'm union zach nasty bass player bass player now who's been in the band with you the longest uh him him on and off, me. On and off how long is that was been? the guitar player at first yeah, really? I was a guitar player for a little while and then uh, kind of left for a little while and came back as a bass player. He and I actually used to play guitar in my metal band. And yeah, I was he, the vocalist. Yeah, he did right. Vocals for, which is defunct at the moment. Are we might get it back to the again, but it's just kind of right. musical chairs. Yeah. Literally, almost. Yeah, no kidding, right? So, how long has the GOAT project been around? Well, I mean, honestly, uh, GOAT. Has been around since 97, I'm guessing. Uh, right. It was Goat and Your Mom uh, about seven years ago. Before that, it was Goat of Gamora. Before that, it was Goat of Mendez. Right. That's awesome. Now but it wasn't dirty back then. No? It was just uh, strange and weird and awkward, and I got to a point where I started to realize that there was certain songs that I was writing that were more catchy that the fans were digging on and i was like okay i can see what you're digging on and i'll just write more of my songs in that general path right what is like your guys each one of you your favorite song to do on stage 
you know, Quack's always fun, but, you know, I don't want to be lame and pick the most obvious choice there. But, I mean, that gets the crowd going pretty good. Other than that, I don't know. I might have to say probably a throwdown between Butternut Squash and um, She Came. She Came's a really fun one to play. Cool closer. Yeah, because we both fucked that bitch. Is that accurate? <laughs> yes, that's very accurate. Okay. I mean, we're not going to say any names, but, I mean, it's accurate. She, you know, the bait. She's around here somewhere. Somewhere. Somehow. <laughs> there was actually a real duck for the quack song that you were talking. You and I were talking about. You said it was an inspiration. Yes, uh, I was talking to an old drummer at the time, and uh, he uh, he said to me something about uh, you know girls sucking dick worth the shit, and I was like, yeah, you know when they fucking try real hard, they gag on it a little bit and it sounds similar to quacking like a duck and i was like dude i gotta hang up the fucking phone and write a fucking song and i wrote that shit in five minutes <laughs> <laughs> and mr goat what is your favorite song to do live what was that your favorite song to perform live is there like certain singing style or that you enjoy doing live honestly i still like dp the most myself DP? but button nose is the most fun because it gets the crowd moshing all right and you sir Favorite song to perform live? Gotta be She Came right now. She Came? And why is that? Uh, I feel it's probably like the best like showcase of what I can do right now. Right. Lead wise and rhythm wise. And yeah, you were shredding. I, and I helped kind of write it a little bit more than any of the other songs. <laughs> right. And Mr. Drummer. Yes. <laughs> favorite song you enjoy performing asshole. live while you spit in your mouth? Uh, Fuck. Uh, uh, well, I mean... All, all of them. It's all of them? the whole it's set. It's it's yeah, one. It's a whole this dude I, I can fucking play ass. some drums, it's, man. It's a whole piece. Like I don't I differentiate. Like a set list is th like a whole song to me. That's awesome, man. You guys all have great vibes. I appreciate each of you taking your time appreciate to do you. this today, man. If you guys ever need anything, I promise I'll try to have a place for you guys to stay next time. It's right an on. absolute honor to be interviewing wallpaper. Goat and your mom. Uh, we need chicken wallpaper and lentils. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Yeah, toilet paper is right. always a plus. Toilet sure. paper. Oh, one last question Double for you guys before we go. Favorite, if you could tour with any other band, what would it be? I'd have to say Gwar. Gwar. See, I'm yeah, fucking... See, you guys need an opening act <laughs> on your next tour. <laughs> I'll, send this, I'll send this to the lead singer For me, Gwar. it's the Meat Man. The Meat Man? Yes. Sir? Fuck, I don't know. Gwar. He said Gwar. Yeah, he said Gwar. Gwar. Fuck, I don't know. <laughs> uh, Anti-scene. Anti-sing. This is Goat and Your Mom. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Hail Satan. <laughs>